Praise the Lord Jesus, everyone. Our weekly devotional for the month of March is entitled, Think on These Things. Our scripture is taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, which says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Paul writes to the Philippian church and encourages them in their walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. He describes the Philippian church as his beloved and longed for, his joy and his crown. He writes to the Philippian church mostly in the form of an exhortation. He lets them know of his current state. He exhorts them to be like Christ and to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. He also expresses all he has given up for Christ and encourages them to count it all joy when they fall into diverse temptations. These are the themes expressed in the book of Philippians. In chapter 4 verse 8, he encourages saying, Brethren, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtuous, or praiseworthy, think on these things. Paul has many experiences in life. He has had good times, winning saints to the Lord, building the church in Philippi, and laboring with the saints, casting out demons, and seeing the miraculous. He has also had sad times, being imprisoned, seeing the saints at odds, having arguments, and having needs been unattended by those who had opportunity. Paul was also sick. These are a myriad of the experiences had by the Apostle Paul. From this combination of experiences, Paul sees the need to think right. He sees the value of one's thought life. It is often said that thoughts lead to actions that create habits which form character and leads to a destiny. Proverbs 4 verse 23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The contents of my heart are largely from the inflow of my thoughts. He starts by saying whatsoever things are true and whatsoever things are honest. The word true is from the Greek word alethis, which means true or real. It can be considered as unconcealed or open. Another derivative from the word truth is to deal faithfully, truly, or genuine. The word honest in the Greek means semnos, which means to be honorable and grave. As an adjective, it means to be respectable, honorable, and dignified. How can I be true and honest in my thoughts? I must first love the truth and seek to identify myself with the truth. Proverbs 23 verse 23 says, Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The opposite of truth is falsehood, deceit, and lying. These only lead to mistrust and loss of one's testimony. Proverbs 12.22 says, Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. Ephesians 4.25 says, Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one another. How easy it is to think truth when I am running late for work. Do I think up a story to tell my boss? When I am applying for a visa, do I plan in my mind to falsify documents in order to be a successful candidate? Do I pre-plan a lie? Do I think a lie in order to get by in life? On the other hand, sometimes we think negative thoughts about ourselves. We say to ourselves, you're not good enough. You're too sinful for God to love you. Don't you see? People don't even like you. You're hopeless and helpless, and things will never get better. These are thoughts we must reject. 
2 Corinthians 10 verse 45 say, says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Psalm 119, 160 says, Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Psalm 119, 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So when lying thoughts come to my mind, I must repeat truth from the word of God. What does the Bible say about me? What does God hold as true as it concerns me? He says, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are his workmanship created unto Christ Jesus for good works. There are more with you than those who are against you. He says, I would that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. He says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. God thinks good thoughts about me. When thoughts of ill intent creep your mind, kindly show these thoughts to the exit door by repeating the word of God to yourself. It is, writ it is written is one of the most powerful words spoken simply because Jesus said it. When lying thoughts creep into your mind to bring it into captivity, ask God for the way of escape, for he promised that he would not allow you to be tempted beyond your ability. Remember always to keep in the love of God and keep your mind stayed on him and on his truth. So remember, my brothers and my sisters, whatsoever things are true and whatsoever things are honest, think on these things. Next week, we will be looking into whatsoever things are just and whatsoever things are pure. God bless you in the wonderful name of Jesus.